Alrighty, so I did a lot of research to actually figure out how to wire these up. Couldn't actually find a video on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one. Basically, my Waco CF60 um, cracked itself. Um, did a little test to see if the compressor was working. Basically, how you do that is you take this back cover off here, and what you do. What you do is all your plugs and stuff for your original wiring plugs into here. So you take all them out and you'll have all these letters up here you can't see on this video because it's just night time. But basically you got from the bottom up T, P, C, D, C, A, F and then a positive and a negative. Basically what you want to do is you want to bridge the T and the C as you can see here. Bridge it up. Um, these two wires here are the fan and then these go back I've kept the standard port over here so you can still use the original port for that and basically how you wire it is this mess <laughs> explanation of it is on the top here so on your left is you have your power in and out and then over this side is your cooling so what you actually do is you have your power so your 12 watt power go into this one into number one you then link so you do it like a double wire as you can see there into number seven now number eight goes actually into the power of your fridge and then your negative in your fridge goes back to number two and number two is a double up wire back down to your earth back down to there so you still put your um, positive and negative into one and two it's just that your bridge one into seven and then seven loops into your fridge so that's how it does the cut off and cut off and engages when it gets to temperature and then your earth goes from your fridge back to number two and acts as a common earth and then obviously this is your your sensor for your thermistor and yeah that's pretty much it took a bit of doing but she works well and this one, as you can see by the model, is the STC-1000. Works really well. Um, and then you can just mount it wherever. But pretty much, you just take everything you don't need out of the back of there. So all your Waco wiring. And this, and this little thing here replaced it. I think it was about $17 on eBay. Really good. Really simple. And yeah, real easy. So you don't have to buy another fridge. You can just do that. If give and take that your compressor works, to, to, sorry, to make sure your compressor works, you bridge the C and the T, and to test it, you just hook the positive and negative up to a 12 volt battery, and if you if your compressor works and engages, well then you can do this modification. Um, but pretty much, you know, it saved me buying a new fridge just by doing this, so it's really good, and yeah. Depending on how you how you set it up, I've just made a little cut in the side there, which will run up the side. And I've got a cover thing for my Waco, so it'll be all hidden nice and easy. And I'll just mount that somewhere else. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.